Hello again and welcome back to another one. And a few hours ago we got a glimpse of what's to come regarding the aftermath of games promotion strategy with Drillmatic. Will the Eminem this be enough to keep games album afloat? Well, that and 31 features, 7 Jay-Z samples, a Drake interlude. Well, on a side note, let's just say that we are all thankful that Debtor's Prison is no longer a thing, and we'll get to more on this in a bit. We also have one that caught both gamers and rap fans by surprise thanks to a report. Eminem is the only artist playing on Fortnite's icons radio right now, potential, collab, flossed and fire emojis. And the report adds, songs are in order. And as you can see, this is all from Curtain Call 2. Now add this to the fact that strange dates were picked for Eminem's episodes on the Paul Pod 7th and 14th September. And now a potential collab is on the way with Fortnite. This has sparked speculations, as expected, for what could be on the horizon. And in reaction to this on Reddit, for instance, a user expands, Don't you dare complain about this. Y'all been giving him ish for past couple of years for not doing promotion, and this is one of the best ways to promote these days. I agree with this. This is much better than the UFC promo from a couple of days ago, as Fortnite averages around 30 million players daily, and now Fortnite players have been sharing clips of Eminem songs playing in-game on social media, and it's two days in a row right now, according to reports. Eminem again in Fortnite, it feels like the same songs as yesterday. So all from Curtain Call 2. Another report rules out the possibility of this being about in-game skins. Currently, the in-game icon radio plays only 53 minutes of Eminem songs, which might be hinting towards an Eminem and Fortnite collab in the very near future. As a reminder, however, there are zero skins currently encrypted, so it might be something smaller, like a emote or music pack. Some even suggest could be a Rift Tour, an in-game version of a musical performance. And before we head to the next point today, it looks like Eminem's in LA right now as DJ Yellow shared this on IG a few hours ago with the caption, Today, 2022. So confirmed, it's a new photo, and many are convinced this is Dr. Dre's house, and for some this adds to the mix. This is a clear indication that he's working on the project. CC2 was the first in 5 years to get promoted. Maybe he's trying to check the response to a promoted project? I don't know. But Paul's tweet about the new era, M's tweet about the future of Bad Meets Evil, and 50's tweet saying that they have many more songs coupled with Eminem making several appearances that indicate he might be recording something new, tells me that he is definitely working on something. Globally, Curtain Call 2 has been doing great on streaming platforms, and this links to our next point today. On the second day of Drillmatic's release, it was outsold by Curtain Call 2 on iTunes, and Drillmatic was only two spots ahead of CC2 on Apple Music, but things got worse for the game, and if you've been following the reports, you know he needs the numbers. Some might say it's why he had no choice but to go at Eminem for maximum exposure because of this, especially since he wasn't invited to the Super Bowl that could have been a lifeline for him. But check this out, while the Black Slim Shady game Eminem and Haley have been trending on social media, it isn't enough to entice music fans to listen to the album. A report reveals the atrocious first day numbers. The game Drillmatic Heart vs. Mind debuted with 960,000 streams on Spotify. What sorcery is this? An album with 31 features, a 10 minute Eminem this song, reportedly 364 name drops, titled Drillmatic with more Jay-Z mentions and samples, and more. And music fans are shook right now, no way, loudly crying emojis. Eminem's old track from 2009 released last week outstreamed his whole freaking album. 30 songs, album, loudly crying emoji. For some more context, the lyric video of Cinderella Man did over 1 million in its first 24 hours. And for those in the back, on the day, Drillmatic dropped Eminem's Without Me and The Real Slim Shady outstreamed the entire album on Spotify. After months of talking about how no one listens to Eminem, this is certainly a horrible look for a game. Over on Reddit, even El Jamar was brought up for some more context. Yeah, he's just taking a page out of El Jamar's book when it comes to that. He can feel however he wants about Eminem, but can't argue with the numbers. Shrugs emoji. Game really made it tough for his supporters to pull the in quotes, numbers don't matter excuse after months of talking about how no one listens to Eminem and reports show that he needs the numbers. And many rap fans aren't holding back. My goodness, with these number projections for game, he gonna need Eminem to respond to save his career. M could ruin a career by not responding, laughing emojis. More? How do you get half the industry on your album with a 10 minute Eminem diss track and your entire album debuts with less than 1 million streams? Skull emoji. So much for Ebro's comment about game trolling Eminem fans to stream his album. 
That will be all for now. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and see you on the next one.